the next few nights, Skywatcher is in for a great treat as bits and pieces of the most famous cosmic visitor around, Comet Halley, graces our skies. While the comet itself won't be visible until the year 2061, we get to see material shed from the comet in the form of an annual meteor shower called the Orionids, which peaks this year on October 21st in the early morning hours. Now, from a dark location, you should see upwards of 20 shooting stars per hour. From a, a suburban sky, maybe 10 to 15, with some few fireballs thrown in, which are baseball to basketball sized stones. Now, most of the meteors that we see streaking across the sky are the size of sand grain, and it occurs when we slam into a huge cloud of debris of these, of these sand sized particles every year, and most of them get ionized in the upper atmosphere as they zip across our skies at upwards of 90,000 miles per hour. Now, the Orionids get their name from the constellation they appear to originate from. They irradiate out from the constellation Orion, the mythical hunter which rises in the northeast at local midnight and will be high in the southern sky in the early morning hours. Now, while October 21st is the peak of the shower, you'll get to see more throughout the following week at just less numbers per hour, maybe five to 10 shooting stars. It's amazing to think that all of those meteors that you're seeing are bits and pieces shed from Comet Halley, which won't return for another five decades. For more stargazing information, visit my website, thenightskyguide.com.